That's a strategy. I can give you the code and you can But then say, where's the love? Just a minute. No, no. In that strategy, they put let me, in love. Let me finish. Mm. I'm just saying that this is their strategy. It's not something I'm saying. I could give you, and you can read it for your viewers, you know, to, 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 to internalize. Because it is useful to coach the homosexuals themselves. Look at this last paragraph that I have. To just read it. Whose book is this? This is by uh, uh, Professor Mollenbeck. It is entitled uh, Strained Relations, uh, Homosexuality. You can show so that. Strained Relations, The Challenge of Homosexuality. Professor Mollenbeck. Mo Mo yes, uh, is Mollenbeck. A, the forward is by Michael L. Brown. Exactly. Yes. Show that he he was a former homosexual. Years. Actually, we brought him to Ghana, <laughs> but That's he's living in Australia okay. now. All right. So just read that. And uh, page seven started. of it, the yeah. last paragraph, he said, The greater single victory of the gay movement over the past decade has been to shift the debate from the behavior to identity, mm -hmm. thus forcing opponents into a position where they can be seen as attacking the civil rights of homosexuality, attacking the civil rights of homosexual citizens, rather than attacking specific and, as they see it, antisocial anti -social behavior. behavior. So okay. that's the strategy. So if you don't that's understand their strategy, yeah. you get the whole thing wrong. Yeah. All this bit about human rights, it's fake, it's false. They know it is not a human right. In fact, in another book uh, called uh, uh, Around the Ball or After the Ball, uh, the other writers also indicate clearly what they want to achieve. So what are the human rights? I asked my good friend Sheshe, what you should show me in the Ghanaian constitution, what paragraph, what clause, what article talks about LGBT rights. It's not there. <laughs> you know, the, the chapter, chapter 5, the, from mm. two, you know, uh, Article 12 down, you will not see it there. Indeed, the Atubuga Commission on you know, the reform of the Constitution, there were a lot of proposals to change, to amend the Constitution, to allow for what they call sexual orientation, which is the standard physiology for all constitutions that admit of homosexual rights. So instead of, you know, Seche and his people saying that, oh, but their human rights have been overrun, they should be showing us where in this constitution you've got this LGBT or, or you know, sexual orientation. But they don't say LGBT in the constitution, no, no, but they, they say, say the, the, the right to express. No, but you see, if that's what I've said. There is no right to express a criminal offense. Because you know, sodomy is an offense. Yes. Section 104 on natural canon knowledge. Bestiality is also an offense. Mm -hmm. So uh, where in the constitution would you be allowed to aggregate, to promote, uh, you know, uh, you know on, on, on natural kind of knowledge, or sodomy, which includes a, an, you know, an over, an, you know, a majority uh, you know, human being having sex with somebody below the age of 16, all right? Or bestiality. These are offenses under our act. Can you campaign for these things? You can't, of course you can't. And then you can't assemble to achieve these things. That's not how the law works. And I'm indicating that this whole issue of fundamental human rights was settled by the European Court of Human Rights in 2017. You sat here, and I remember you, and Professor, uh, you know, uh, the former Speaker of Parliament, mm, and you went through it. I pointed out to you, mm. the issue of same-sex marriages was brought before 47 judges. And by the way, the European Court of Human Rights is the largest and the most experienced human rights court in the whole world. Par none. Mm. And the issue came, same-sex marriage, it took them two years. They looked at anthropology, they looked at positive law, natural law, everything they looked through. 47 of them were unanimous. That same-sex or LGBT rights don't belong to the framework of international human rights law. They are not. And that if a particular country doesn't admit of those rights, it is not breaching any international law rule on equality or discrimination. That's a matter of law. <laughs> so if you want to code the human rights law, that's the position. And I'm telling you the professors, that is the standard international human rights law now. That's at the international level. In Ghana, they should show me where the Supreme Court has ever held. The gender under the constitution means, uh, uh, you know, other than male and female. Or sex also incorporates sexual orientation. If they want, they should walk to the Supreme Court. In fact, but we are ready. We are ready with our writs and we are prepared to meet them. It was for strategic reasons that we are holding on for this law to pass. Because you cannot find it in the law. Uh, you cannot read uh, sexual orientation into uh, uh, you know, uh, Article 17 that talks about discrimination against sex, gender, religion. It's not there. You will not see it there. And you know, I, I keep on asking myself, LGBTQIAAP+, mm. plus, Paul, 
What is that plus for? What's the meaning of that plus? What's the well, mean? What one, does it mean? You tell me. What does it mean? One of my researchers, Richard, just sent me this. Uh, it says, okay, so I, I don't know whether the screen can pick my phone. Can I? Okay, yeah. Uh, it does it a little bit. Okay, you can see some colors on my, on my phone. Can't see. Okay, let me read it to you. So uh, L is uh, lesbianism. G is gay. B is bisexual. The T is transgender. The next T, so it's LGBTQ. I A A P. Let's mm. let's understand what it means. So, <laughs> a T is transgender. Uh, the next T is transsexual. Mm. Q is queer. Mm. Uh, there's a definition for each. The, the other Q is questioning. Mm. And now let me read what questioning is. Questioning is the process of exploring and discovering one's own sexual orientation, mm. gender identity, or gender expression. There's That's somebody who is now still exactly. thinking whether he's male or woman. There's provision in the law that allows yeah. help for these people. Okay. We don't and then I is intersex. That's an individual whose sexual anatomy or chromosomes do not fit with traditional makers of female and markers. We don't criminalize that one as But that's well. natural. Yeah, exactly. Because then we say that intersex. they go for surgical treatment. Mm -hmm. We have not criminalized. There are some people who have not read the law and are saying we've criminalized intersex. We've not. It's not been criminalized. Okay, then uh, ally, another mm -hmm. A, and then asexual. Mm -hmm. And what you said, pansexual. Sexual, yes. Pansexual is a person who experiences sexual, romantic, physical, and or spiritual attraction mm. to members of all gender identity. Mm. There's uh, even uh, inanimate and inanimate objects as well. Not as just people who yes, fit Yes, but into also this. inanimate objects as well. Wow. So you can have somebody open, uh, you know, bread and have sex to it, release into it, and that, that's it. That's it. Gratification. Okay. Something like that, yeah, nini. Uh, sends a text. Says, sure. Shush. But let's finish the plus one. Okay. Uh, you ask let, he says, Paul, it may be inaccurate to demand to see a specific provision of the Constitution on a particular right in the light of Article 33.5. Uh, 33.5, I'll look at it in, now. On emerging rights. Just pointing this out and not intended to support any side of the debate. No, but, but what to does show our senior Moses's demand is inaccurate. No, no, no. Uh, so he's, he's, rather, he's, five, he's totally me. lost it. Let okay, me go you read 35. Uh, whether, so, uh, how can so the Constitution have yeah. reference to it, you know, indeterminate? Now, 33.5 says that the rights, duties, declarations, and guarantees relating to the fundamental human rights and freedoms specifically mentioned in this chapter shall not be regarded as excluding others not specifically mentioned, which are considered to be inherent in a democracy and intended to secure the freedom and dignity of man. Fantastic. So it's even qualified. Yeah, the, so there's a qualification. But this really is, is supported. Exactly. Yes, because it's qualified democracy. So it qualifies. It says which are considered to be inherent exactly in a democracy. Exactly, inherent. How inherent, inherent in a democracy, how would does, you be able to does, advocate you know, or something me, that's prohibited? Me, exactly. How can you, and he should tell, well, I, he's been very careful. He yeah. entered a caveat. He, does, yeah, he, he doesn't says, mean... But he says he's not supporting any party. Yeah, but it is totally wrong because that quotation itself, uh, it, it doesn't appreciate... Well, what you're but I think his, his point is the early part of 15, which no, says it shall me, not be, be determined to be excluding others that are not mentioned. Mentioned, but you see... But that's qualified then. Yeah, but you see, if the thing is mentioned, if we said the constitution prevents discrimination for sex, gender, religion it mentions those ones specifically so you uh, unless you can read into those provisions sexual orientation then you cannot say that uh you know this particular 35 covers it no but because so and there's even a qualification assume, does the constitution assume yeah. that we are all uh, uh straight no well but that's what yeah. and, but, but and that's why it. should the constitution that, make it. that assumption yeah but the constitution is the constitution of the republic of ghana it is supposed, go and read it, it's reflecting our values. And the directive principles of state policy are pretty clear. Article 34 says that it, the, all those organs of state, legislature, executive, are, all of them are supposed to, you know, enforce the directive principles of state policy. And if you go to 39, it talks about our customary law being mm -hmm. important in respect mm -hmm. and our value, customary values. In, in 11, any, the laws of yeah, Ghana, customary any, law is listed. Like in, precisely, in Article 11. Show yeah. me which Ghanaian, you know, customary, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 value recommends uh, a woman opening up her vagina for a dog to lick it. It doesn't make sense. You know, and that's why I'm saying I'm going to be a bit graphic today. And those so, friends of sorry, mine, that's should, very graphic. I want to, yes, very, I want to apologize. Graphic. Because that's the strategy. 
they will never talk about exactly what they do because transgenderism and queer, what do queer people do? They, bestiality is part of the things that they do. In fact, I will give you quotations as to exactly the sorts of things that LGBTQ people get involved in. And I've mentioned the pansexual and then the polyamorous. There's a one thing.